morning, our dear learners of P3. I'm glad we are meeting at this moment to talk about some information. So before we start our lesson, make sure you've washed your hands properly or you've sanitized them. Make sure where you're seated is clean. Maintain the social distance and remember to stay safe. Race. Now, our lesson today, we are going to look at rain formation. Today, we are looking at rain formation. Our lesson today is rain read together rainy formation have a look at the word formation i'm giving you a few seconds to spell the word formation look at it properly and spell it clearly formation okay now we start as you see rain formation what is rain formation this is the way rain is formed. Rain formation. Is the way rain is formed. What is rain formation, Lanas? Rain formation is the way rain is formed in the environment. Now, it can be called the rain formation or it can also be called be called rain cycle called a rain cycle or a water cycle so rain formation can be called a rain cycle or you can also call it a water cycle now remember when we remind ourselves which clouds are responsible for giving us rain which clouds are responsible for giving us rain? Those are nimbus clouds. Nimbus clouds. Nimbus clouds give us. Nimbus clouds give us rain. So make sure you remember the clouds that give us rain. Those are the nimbus clouds is that on okay okay now we look at the rain cycle we look at the rain cycle rain cycle or you can call it the water cycle or you can call it the process of rain formation so we look at what is needed what is needed in the rain cycle in the rain what is needed in the rain cycle okay now we have this chart here Meaning that we need the sun. Then we have this feature here. Those are the plants. Then we have this one having represented with a blue marker. That might be a water body. Then up here we have something that is being formed. 
So what is needed? Number one, we have, we need the water body. Number two, we need the sun. And number three, we need the plants. In the rain cycle, the water body is needed, the sun is needed, and the plants are needed. So we look at the process. Process of rain formation. Process of rain formation. So look at the sun. What do you think is the use of the sun? So the work of the sun, the first process, the sun will heat the water body. The sun heats the water body. The sun heats the water body. The sun heats the water body. And the plants. It's the water body and the plants. Of rain formation. Now we have this feature here known as the sun. The sun hits the water in the water body. In the water body. Its work is to heat the water in the water in the water body. Then what will happen to the water in the water body? When you heat water, after some time you see it evaporating. Same applies to this one. The water will evaporate or it will produce vapor. The water produces vapor. Produces vapor. What we call evaporation. So we are saying the sun will hit the water in the water body. Then after some time, this water will produce vapor or it will evaporate. That process is known as evaporation. Then you ever seen this water vapor will rise to the atmosphere and reach what we call the condensation level. The vapor will rise to the atmosphere. The condensation level, condensation point. So when the vapor is rising, it reaches a certain point known as the condensation point, or oh, that point which is cool, or which is having cold temperatures. So at that point is what we call the condensation point. After that part, that's the point. When it reaches the condensation point, when it reaches the condensation point, it forms what you call clouds. Condensation point, it forms, it forms clouds. So look at our diagram here. The sun hits the water in the water vapor body. Then this water, the moment you heat water, it forms vapor. So it will evaporate. Then that vapor will rise and reach what we call the condensation point. That point of cooling. 
So when it reaches the condensation point, clouds are formed. Remember that clouds are responsible for giving us rainbows and nimbus clouds. So clouds are formed. Now when clouds become heavy, when clouds become heavy, they fall, they fall as rain. So that's why you're seeing that all clouds have become heavy, so they have to fall. So they fall as rain. So when they fall back to the ground, some water will go back to the water body. The rain, some of the rain water will go back to the water body, and the other will drain in the soil here where we have the plants. So as it is raining, some goes back to the water bodies, it can be the lakes rivers, the streams, or any other water body, and the other part, or the other rainwater will drain in the soil. So that is the part of the sun hitting the water in the water vapor. Now, we have another part. The sun also, also, hits the plants. The sun also hits the plants and they transpirate. When you look at our diagram here, we have both the plants and we have the water. Body. So the sun will hit the water in the water body. Same, the sun will also be hitting the plants in the environment. But when the plants are heated, they go under a process known as transpiration, whereby plants they will lose water in form of vapor. So that water that will be lost in form of vapor will go back, reach the condensation point, form clouds. And when the plants become heavy, they fall as rain. So we have two, fe two features there. We have the plants, at the same time we have the water bodies. But the process remains the same. Just because in the plants it is transpiration, then here it is just the water evaporating. Now we go back. The features. Remember to level the features. What features are needed in the rain cycle? We have feature number one. You can easily tell what it is. We have feature number two. What are those features? Plants. We have feature number three. That is the water body. So we have the sun, plants, and the water body. Now, we go to the processes. Processes in the, the rain cycle. Processes in the rain, in the rain cycle. We have looked at the features, we have seen the sun, plants, water, body. Now we have what we call which processes take place in the rain cycle. So remember I say water produces vapor. So the first process, we have these arrows here. Let us level with it. number one. Number one. Then we have a process at O. So we are looking at the processes in the rain cycle. So remember we say the sun hits the water in the water vapor. So the first process, we say the water evaporates all the water forms vapor so we have process number one evaporation look at the word it is quite long but look at the word get some few seconds to spell it properly evaporation repeat after me 
evaporation. Spell it properly. That is the first process. The water evaporates. When you boil water, it evaporates. Same applies to this one. It will evaporate. So it is evaporation. Now we go to this part here. As the clouds have been formed, so they are trying to cool what we call an condensation point. So the next process is condensation. So the next process is that cooling part at the condensation point whereby water condenses. So clouds forming rain water. Then the next process, remember we say the plants, the sun also heats the plants and they transpirate. So that process as the plants are being heated, also water from them in water power will be rising up slowly by slowly that process whereby plants lose water in form of vapor form is known as transpiration so you have here transpiration let us call this one we call it p that part so here we have our p as transpiration now, in the details, our next lesson, we shall look at what transpiration is and we shall look at in details what, how plants transpirate and what is needed in that process of transpiration. But what we have to know in the rain cycle, we have three processes. One, evaporation. Number two, condensation. And number three, Transpiration. Is that okay, my dear learners? Don't forget the features. We have the sun, plants, and the water bodies. Is that all okay? Okay. So I'm going to leave an activity behind about the rain cycle or how rain is formed. And I expect you to do it. Correctly. So we have activity. What is a rain cycle? What is a rain cycle? Give two processes that take place. Marked. Marked M. And last three which clouds give us rain. Is a simple activity, and I expect you to answer it correctly. Okay, that will be the end of our lesson. Remember to keep clean, make sure your surrounding is clean, and stay safe.